This video illustrates enucleation by the myoconjunctival technique in a 4-year-old child with left eye retinoblastoma. The surgery is usually performed under general anesthesia. After the patient is prepped and draped, a wire speculum is placed to exclude the eyelashes from the field. A lateral canthotomy is performed. A 360 degree peritomy is done using a blunt tip viscous scissors, cutting as close to the limbus as possible. The underlying posterior tenons fascia is undermined in all four quadrants in a spreading action using a blunt tip tenotomy scissors. Each of the recti muscles is identified, hooked and double tagged, first with 6O silk and then with 6O vicryl suture. 6O silk sutures serve as traction sutures while 6O vicryl sutures would later be used to suture the muscles through the conjunctiva. Each of the recti muscles is then transected at a point between the two sutures. The superior oblique and inferior oblique muscles are transected and allowed to retract posteriorly. A conjunctival relaxing incision is made for easy manipulation. The eyeball is then prolapsed between the blades of the speculum. With a forward traction on the eyeball using the four silk sutures, a gently curved blunt tip tenotomy scissors is passed along the lateral wall and the optic nerve is trumped along the length. With one bolt cut, the optic nerve is transected at the desired length and when the case is retinoblastoma, as in this patient, the transection is performed just a little anterior to the superior orbital fissure to gain a good optic nerve length and at the same time avoid injuring the superior orbital fissure contents. After achieving adequate hemostasis, an appropriate sized silicon orbital implant is placed posterior to posterior tenons. Posterior tenons fascia is closed with interrupted 6O vicryl sutures. Each of the recti muscles is sutured through the conjunctiva in its respective fornix and these are called the myoconjunctival sutures. Anterior tenons fascia is closed with interrupted 6O vicryl sutures. Conjunctival closure is done in a continuous key suturing pattern with 6O vicryl suture. An appropriate size confirmer is placed and a median tarsography done with 6O vicryl suture. The suture tarsography is removed after one week and a customized prosthesis can then be placed in the socket after six weeks to achieve an excellent static and dynamic cosmesis.